Netflix's Horizon Zero Dawn series has been canned, reports claim. Grant Tiller Hill, Insider Gaming. Last week, Rolling Stone reported on toxic behavior between, uh, pepper, perpetuated by Steve Blackman, a showrunner working on the Umbrella Academy. These claims were laid out by no fewer than 12 workers. Oh, man. And the reports made their way to Rolling Stone, which subsequently investigated, uncovering quite the controversy. Blackman categorically denied the claims, which accused him of being a manipulative bully on set. But since the report service, Rolling Stone has secured another scoop. One of Blackman's other projects, the Horizon Zero Dawn prequel series, has been canned. Uh, uh, I, I want to point out the very careful wording here because canned is being used a lot. And I, yeah. it, it gives me a little bit of hope. Uh, yeah. The topic the of... Is canceled. The topic of a Horizon-based TV show has been long discussed. Given the series' rich and immersive story and gorgeous world, is the perfect title to adapt for a live-action series. Man, I, oh, I would love this. Absolutely <laughs> would love this. Uh, hands down, right? According to a post by Rolling Stone's Cheyenne Roundtree, who covered the original Blackman story, anything attached to the showrunner has now been canned, including Horizon Zero Dawn and Orbital. It's not known how far the team has gone or got with producing the Horizon TV show, but it's not expected to have uh, pushed too far down the line. Got your hope? I think I'm there with you, right? The hope is that somebody else picks this up. Yeah, this isn't hopefully not just going to waste. And it's a good idea, even if this production doesn't actually get off the ground. I really hope that somebody circles back around on this idea because it's such a, a just a rich world, such rich lore different tribes you could bounce this off a different now being a prequel series of course that throws other mixes other things in the <laughs> mix but yeah it, it's oh, it, <laughs> we talked to the james uh the uh, creative director creative director narrative narrative director uh down in la about lego horizon and i asked him the question which he says he gets a lot of kill zone will we ever see a kill zone and his mm. answer was coy to say the least but he said there's so much richness in the world of Horizon that everybody now is just all on Horizon. Which then, again, right, brings me back to this one. There's a little bit of hope that maybe somebody else will take it because I think PlayStation and Guerrilla are really looking to push Horizon to the next level and make it a phenomenon and a well-known home name, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So when you say Horizon, when you say Aloy, you understand who that is or what they are about when it comes to this game and how big and immersive this world really is. When we went from Zero Dawn into Forbidden West, dude, it was huge. Like, Zero Dawn was already big, and then Forbidden West yeah. just felt like almost twice as big, and then we had Burning Shores DLC. Dude, like, there's a lot to uncover and a lot to unpack and so many side stories and so many side characters you can get into. I think there's huge opportunity when it comes to Horizon. But I wouldn't, even though the show's been canned, I think it's only temporary. Yeah, I don't think you should count it out just yet. But I'm worried that this might be a sign that Horizon, the next Horizon game, Horizon Icarus, because it's flown too close to the sun now. We have too many Horizon products coming out all at once or being started all at once. Maybe that's just a pacing issue. I really just want the Monster Hunter Horizon game we've heard a lot about. <laughs> oh, yeah, the online one. Come on, let's yep. do it. Absolutely. Hit us up, itgtv.com. Are you excited for anything Horizon?